And Dr. Yan Jin Lee, a one-time Tiananmen Square protester who was released after being jailed on espionage charges, told at a Washington press conference on Tuesday that the first few years of his imprisonment in China were very difficult, very harsh. He thanked the U.S. government's efforts in securing his rescue. Here's more from our correspondent in Washington, D.C. Yang Jian Li said he was grateful for the support he received from U.S. congressmen, the U.S. government and media bodies. He thanked his wife and families who worked hard to press for his release. He said without support from his family, he would not have been able to overcome this period. Yang said the first two years in prison were especially hard, as he was subject to constant physical and psychological torture. Uh, just as I mentioned, one, so I was forced to sit, uh, sit straight without movement four hours a day. Uh, and uh, for uh, several stretches, uh, I, uh, I was not allowed to go out of fresh air for sunlight. At one occasion, I was beaten up and uh, had handcuffed for two weeks, so being forced to do everything with a uh, hand wrist bound. U.S. President George W. Bush had urged Chinese President Hu Jintao to release Yang, a permanent U.S. resident with degrees from Harvard and Berkeley universities. My sentence was lighter than expected. Also, the CCP planned to release me several times, but due to some unexpected circumstances, they could not, which proves pressure from the U.S. government has been very effective. Yang was released from prison in April, but Chinese authorities had refused to issue him a passport, grant him residency status, or allow his Chinese-American wife, Christina Fu, to visit him in Beijing. Congressman Frank said they will continue to pay attention to the human rights condition in China. NTD TV, Washington, D.C.